All right. In a dramatic series of events that played out in Bolivia, as the South American country came dangerously close to an armed regime change. Well, following the thwarting of the attempted military coup, the now dismissed army commander Juan Jose Zuniga, accused of leading the charge, has been placed under arrest by the Bolivian government. Right, and it all happened in a matter of hours. A faction of the Bolivian armed forces pushing the coup seized the capital city's central square on Wednesday. Heavily armed soldiers, armored vehicles were seen gathering in the central square, Plaza Murillo. This while an armored military vehicle was seen ramming through the entrance of the presidential palace with soldiers pouring into the palace compound. But troops and armored vehicles later began to pull back. Supporters of Supporters flooded into the plaza outside soon afterwards, waving Bolivian flags. Following the coup attempt against Louis Commander Juan Jose Zuniga was captured and taken to a police vehicle outside a military Barrack. Now, Bolivia's public prosecutor's office has stated that a criminal investigation against Zuniga is currently being pursued. President was quick to fill in the power vacuum left by Zuniga's dismissal by appointing new military chiefs right after the incident. Jose Sanchez, appointed Wednesday as commander of the Bolivian army, stated that he and the rest of the generals will ensure the legal government remains in power according to what the state's laws require. Heavily armed Bolivian soldiers in armored vehicles took over the capital's central square Wednesday, home to the presidential palace and Congress, in what the country's president called an attempted coup. As troops surrounded Plaza Murillo, a military commander can be heard telling soldiers to stand firm. Bolivian President Luis Arce demanded the military action be called off, denouncing what he called an irregular mobilization of some army units in La Paz. In a video posted on Facebook, Arce addressed the nation alongside government officials, calling on citizens to mobilize for democracy and against the coup. According to a Reuters witness, an armored vehicle rammed into a door of the presidential palace and soldiers rushed in. Former leader Evo Morales, who has publicly split with Arce, although both belong to the same socialist movement, accused top general Juan Jose Zuniga of plotting a coup. Tensions have been building in Bolivia ahead of the general elections in 2025, with Morales planning to run against Arce creating a rift in the ruling Socialist Party and wider political uncertainty. Many do not want a return of Morales, who governed from 2006 to 2019, when he was ousted amongst widespread protests and replaced by an interim conservative government. Arce then won election in 2020. The landlocked South American country is also battling an economic slump, with depleted central bank reserves and pressure on the Boliviano currency as gas exports have dried up. The United States said it was closely monitoring the situation and urged calm and restraint. 